Now let's take a look at the workspace. If I go over here to Window, to Workspace, I have the Effects Workspace open now. What that means is all these panels in here are panels that I would need to work with the effects. If I went to Window, to Workspace, to Audio, now you can see that it has changed. If I go back to Window, to Color Correction, you can see that I have different panels. If I go back to Workspace, to Editing, again, the panels have changed. If I go over here to Workspace and go back to the Effects, now I have my Effects Workspace. So this is how we uh, Adobe has preset workspaces for us. If I go up here to Window, to Workspace, we can create a new workspace and we can delete a workspace. What that means is Let's say that I was working in this effects, but I didn't want my info or history, and I didn't want the source, and I didn't like the way it was laid out. Let's say that I, all I have to do to move my panel, which I'll be going over that, but I'm just going to move this over here for now and drop it over here. And I'm going to take this and drop it here, drop this one here. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. So let's say this is the way I like my workspace to work. I like it just like this. This is how I like it to work and I share this computer with other people so when I get back on it I want it to look just like this. So all I have to do is go to Window, to Workspace, to New Workspace and I'm going to title this Project Demo and I'm going to select OK. And now if I go up here to Window, Workspace and let's say somebody else comes in and they're working on Premiere and they're working in audio. And then I come back in and they have it just like this. Well, it would take me a lot of time to make the workspace the way I like it. And we all know when we're working on projects like this, time is very important. So let's go to Window, to Workspace. And right here is my workspace that I saved, Project Demo. And now you can see it is just the, just the way I like it, and now I can get to work. So you go to Workspace. Let's say I was done with this project, and I no longer needed that workspace. I just go to Delete Workspace. And cancel this. Workspace, I'll go to Editing, then go to Window, Workspace, Delete Workspace, and now I can delete it. You can't delete your workspace if you're using it. So you saw I got off of it and went to Audio. So I'll go to Project Demo and Delete Workspace, OK. If I go back up to the Window, to Workspace, you can see it's no longer there. I can reset a current workspace. And that's how easy it is to manipulate your workspace to the way you like it. The next movie will talk about the panels.